This video is a short introduction into longitude. Lines of longitude, which are also called meridians of longitude, run vertically from the North Pole to the South Pole. Because each line must pass through the North Pole and the South Pole, unlike lines of latitude, they are not parallel to each other. Instead, the lines of longitude look more like this. So if we were to have a look at uh, the globe from a top view, then right in the centre we would find the North Pole. And all of the lines of longitude would end up running through the North Pole. So a top view of the lines of longitude would look something like this. It would also look exactly the same if we look from underneath the globe at the South Pole with all the lines of longitude meeting at the pole. When we looked at latitude, we saw that the equator, which runs through the middle of the Earth, is a longer line of latitude than any of the other lines. With longitude, however, the lines are all the same length and there isn't an obvious starting point for us. There was an observatory in a place called Greenwich, which is a suburb of London in England, and it played a big role in figuring out where the lines of uh, longitude would lie. And so they decided that the line which ran through that, uh, through that observatory would be called zero degrees. As this is the main meridian, we call it the prime meridian. Uh, and so sometimes you'll hear zero degrees also referred to as the prime meridian. The prime meridian divides the world into two hemispheres. We end up having an eastern hemisphere and a western hemisphere. And so all of these lines of longitude to the, to the east of the prime meridian are in the eastern hemisphere. They're given numbers with an E after them for east. So this line, which is about at 120 degrees, we call it 120 degrees east. In the same way, we have lines of longitude in the Western Hemisphere. And this line here is at about 10 degrees west. So we've just changed the colour of the prime meridian there. So we can see the Eastern Hemisphere and the Western Hemisphere, and the numbers getting larger and larger as they move away from zero. This is not what the world looks like. The world isn't flat on a piece of paper like this. Remember, it's a globe. So actually, this place over here is attached to this place over here. So those two ends of the world actually meet each other. And we end up with longitude lines that move from zero through until 180 degrees. And because those two ends of the globe meet up with each other, we will also end up with these lines getting larger and larger until we get to 180 degrees again. This line at 180 degrees is called the International Date Line and we'll, uh, we'll look at that in a different video. So as a quick revision, the lines of longitude run from the North Pole to the South Pole, which we can see here. They're not parallel to each other, and they're all the same length. Uh, there is a prime meridian that runs through Greenwich in England, which is the purple line there at zero degrees, and the other lines of longitude either lie to the east or to the west of the prime meridian until they meet at 180 degrees.